Aplos does uh, social games for big crowds. So basically it means uh, interactive games for tens of thousands of people at live events. I think the the the, the biggest uh, biggest thing uh, with with our invention is really that everybody can play. So it's not just you know uh, a a subset of, of people or the the audience that can play uh, the games, but it's it's involving each and everyone. So so it is really really something that you know will will uh, make the event more fun make it more social and uh, of course you know having having the brands uh, and the sponsors involved that's exactly what they are looking for we got uh, good good funding uh, uh, November 2010 and and with that new funding we were able to really take the first steps uh, in the, in the global market so so that's when we we really started so so this uh, 2011 has been a, a year of uh, internationalization for for us so uh, we've, we've expanded to 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 different uh, different new countries like Spain Portugal Singapore uh, UK and, uh, and and continue to to expand in new markets uh, done uh, also like new new uh, new events uh, new type of events like uh, music festivals uh, uh, racing like Formula One uh, and of course like football the biggest sport in the world has been really really one one of our key key focus areas <laughs> Finvera uh, was the lead lead investor in in our uh, first uh, first like seed funding round uh, that that closed uh, November 2010 so uh, of course now they are the, the has a has a ma- major ownership in the company and uh, and of course Finvera is is uh, is being a very active owner through through uh, board membership uh, been been contributing to 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 the growth of the company and uh, and the international success I feel that the biggest strength for us is really the people and, and, and passionate people. So uh, we have gathered a, a unique uh, group of people who are really passionate passionate about uh, gaming, passionate about sports and and uh, and these uh, uh, events in in uh, in essence. It's very varied. Uh, there's never two days that are completely alike, and I uh, I really enjoy that. And from that idea, I have to make a, a game concept. So then I do a storyboard, so everyone can be on the same page, so everyone can understand how the game should work and react. And then they make the game. Sounds and, uh, like you, you, your work is play. Part of it is playing. Like when I'm when I need to find an idea. I mostly play games to try to figure something out, but uh, other than that, it's thinking, drawing, and um, making Gandre redraw stuff. Why do you like this work? <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> uh, here is picture the architecture of, of our software, um, how to group the different parts of the audience to the different uh, sides of the game. So, for example, uh, these two microphones, uh, they control the blue side and these two the red side. And eventually the audience will uh, fight each other through the noise. Of course, we want to get to new markets. The biggest uh, market in the in the world for sports and entertainment is the uh, United States, so... Uh, that's a that's a a clear goal for us uh, during 2012. Um, 
of course expanding the the, the, the product uh, developing it further so that you know we can uh, we can potentially reach uh, more people through through mobile interfaces that's uh, that's one one area for us and uh, and also the third thing is is, is to introduce uh, our our crowd gaming platform for for new publishers as well so we have started with uh, with Rovio the makers of Angry Birds and uh, in next phase planning to 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 introduce the platform for for the biggest uh, games publishers in the world like uh, Electronic Arts uh, Disney's and uh, and companies like that